apparatus required, meter bridge, known resistance box, galvanometer, jockey, one way key, unknown resistance wire. We need two wire and the battery eliminator. Good day all. Experiment number 2B to verify the laws of combination parallel of resistance using meter bridge. Theory, the resistance R of a given resistance wire or coil R which is equal to 100 minus L by L into R. When R1 and R2 are connected in parallel, then their combined resistance Rp which is equal to R1 R2 by R1 plus R2. The circuit diagram, see in the circuit diagram which is same as the series connection. All the connections which is same, only once you are connecting the resistance wire, you have to connect it here in parallel. Let us see the connections. The connections which is same as we have seen in the resistance but only the change you have to do the connection as the resistance wire which is in parallel. In this gap you have to connect the two resistance. How we have seen in the resistance in series for the readings you have to take for R1 and also the readings for R2 separately you have to take first. Then you have to connect like this in parallel. Now we will take the readings for parallel. We will take out 6 ohm from the resistance box. For that we will remove 5 and 1. The two keys I have removed. So we will get 6 ohm. See the meter bridge in the same way you have to slide it from left to right gently you will get the null deflection when you are reaching the point now check the galvanometer in 84 I got null deflection for the parallel connection the resistance of 6 ohm take at least 4 to 6 set of observations in the same way by changing the value of R for the better results table for unknown resistance X we have taken various values of resistance 2 3 4 ohm like that we got the balancing length and 100 minus L we have to do it. For example, 2 ohm, 53 is the balancing length. So 100 minus L, 100 minus 53, 47 we got it. For R1, R2 and R1 and R2 in parallel. These are all the practical value we got it. We will calculate now. For your convenient, I have calculated for 1 ohm x which is equal to r 100 minus l by l we know that the formula r which is equal to 2 I have chosen here l which is equal to 53 so that the 100 minus l 47 so x which is equal to we got 1.77 ohm in that way we have to calculate for all the values observe the tabular column the mean resistance for r1 1.76 mean resistance for r2 2.06 for parallel value we got practically 1.16 1 1.11 ohm to know the theoretical value of a resistance in parallel by applying in formula 1 by rp which is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 we know that so rp which is equal to R1 R2 by R1 plus R2 by applying that value we got 0 0.95 ohm 
So we can verify it. The experimentally what we got? Rp which is equal to 1.11 ohm and theoretical value 0.95. So the difference 0.16 only. So within the limits of experimental error, the experimental and theoretical values of Rp are same. Hence, law of resistance in parallel is verified.